Maybe, maybe that one will be good. Oh no, maybe that one's a bit too light. Oh, good day there! Welcome back to the race side! Get it off the screen! What am I looking at? You can't know. You can't know! We are, I see, I see chat, you're already talking about it. We are mere, I think about 40 likes away from Grand Admiral Ray. If you want to see me paint my face blue in honor of our favorite blue boy, Thrawny, coming up, uh, head over to Twitter. You know where it's at. You know where it's at. But let's get into today. It is great to be back for another great show. We're going to have a great time. Great discussion, as always. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. We're going to get into it very shortly, but as what we like to do before we jump into the thick of it, who the hell is in the chat? Let's find out. We got DB was first today. Wow, coming in early. Max is here, Kyle's here, Kirsty's here. Great to see you all back for more CG Lightning Texas. You guys are always like bunched together. I love it. You always. Those three, you three always enter the same time. CG, Lightning, and Chicken, you all enter the same time. I love it. I love it. Rado Sharks here, Skywalker's Academy's here. Angelina's back for more entertainment fan. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. JS is here. Hello, JS. Double A's in the chat. John's back. Who else we got? Indy Yoda's here for a fan discussion? Crazy. Jason is back for more. Grand Amor Thrawn's here. I love it. CT17 as well. Clam Cakes is in the chat and easy as well and sin city oh I, I skipped over you Sid. i'm so sorry not the first time but hopefully it'll be the last i love you uh, so glad you're here can't wait to get into the discussion uh we got lots to talk about today there was a lot in that episode wasn't it gee was it a heavy episode uh but we're gonna break it down as we like to do here on our discussions um and let's savor let's before we go any further let's savor that this is the sixth episode. We have next week, so we have less than a week away, and then we have the finale. So we only have two, apart from today, we only have two more sessions of this, which is very sad, but also let's not get too sad yet. Let us celebrate what an awesome show this has been so far. It's going to be a great time, and oh boy, do I have some things planned for the finale. The countdown finale show is going to be phenomenal. Again, that's, that's in like a week and a half, so... Um, I don't, I don't even know what date it is. It's like the 3rd of October or something. It's somewhere. It's somewhere there. But you won't want to miss the finale. Clear the calendar. Clear the whole day. Probably not the whole day. Most of the day. It's going to be a crazy finale here at the race site. So you definitely want to have that lined up to make sure you are here for it. <laughs> you know me. You know me. Mikas or Macus? Micus? Mikas? Hey, mate. Hey, you sound like a pirate. Hey, hey, mate. Hey, matey. Oh, I love it. Be thick as Thrawn. I wish. I aspire to be. I aspire. How <laughs> responsible for a Blu ray. Oh, I love it. Brady in the chat. Master Yava's here as well. Oh, I love it. I've been here, just haven't said anything. Oh, you ominous being, you. Uh, Sin <laughs> City Quiet, Shy Time. Yeah, that's him. That's Sin, all right. Oh, hey, Lucas, how you doing? Skywalker's Academy celebrating two months of being a part of the Ray members. Uh, Balin and Shin going to join Ezra and Sabine? That is just one of the questions that I think we could explore today. This is a brilliant question because the, the conversation of, of light and dark, who's on what side? Are they together? Are they teaming up? Are they on the same wavelength? There's many questions here, but that, I think that makes for a really cool show, really cool characters, and really cool storylines. So, that's a great question. Let's discuss it very shortly. Before we get into these delicious questions that Skywalker's Academy is throwing at us, uh, let's talk about everybody's initial thoughts of Episode 6. Lay it on me. What do you think? What do you think of what transpired in this episode? What do you think, uh, of course... Many of you wonderful people were at the, the countdown and the watch party, and we have like a little bit of a post show there as well. Uh, so I know I know a lot of your thoughts, but if you weren't there or if you have more thoughts, let me know right now. Any initial thoughts I don't know about. I might not know about it. Master Julie's in the chat as well. Hey Julie, how you doing? What do we think? Give me 
the pay the feedback <laughs> hey dave i see you did you see the reaction then <laughs> oh won't be traveling for a while now we'll actually be able to watch at home not on the ipad oh that's right you in the hotel room that was you cg right you in the hotel room you know, like had the ipad setup going so you came and came back amazing well i'm glad you can join us for next time is Bridger, my boy i love it <laughs> you are my hero to mask already dude so many friends it's a good time i need to rewatch the episode i missed a lot of dialogue because i was mind blown yeah the dialogue was very hefty i think that's the right word for this episode it's hefty hefty boy hefty episode Hang on, let me just... How do I never see this? Oh, there we go. There we go. Also, J Rattleshark coming in, flying in hot, going up the ranks, becoming a Jedi Knight. Welcome to the rank of Knight, my friend. Uh, we were... I'm still trying to organize what... Us knights and masters are going to be doing for either a watch party or a games night. So we're going to be adding some uh, some new kind of areas to the Discord as well, Rattershark. So I'll get you connected in there and we're going to have a blast of a time. Thank you so much for supporting me. Appreciate it. Climbing up the ranks. You've graduated from Padawan. You are no longer a Padawan. I love it. Thank you so much for your support. Long have we awaited Thrawn and Ezra? What do we think? Two out of ten, no Jawas. Yep, that blanket statement. If any episode doesn't have any Jawas, it's a two out of ten. Maximum. 100%. If Sabine had a pad one, how would that work if she can't use the Force? That wouldn't be inspiring for a student. That's a great That's a great question. That's actually a great perspective to, to look at it, to be honest. Uh, JS, pretty cool. Not going to lie, teed up when Sabine and Ezra hugged. Ezra Bean. Ezra... Is Rabin? Yeah, that works. Is Rabin? I like that. I, wow, I, I somehow have never heard that. Is Rabin? That is so good. I love it. Uh, yeah, it was emotional. I didn't really quite tear up, I think. Um, I think maybe because the rest of the episode was so heavy. I was like so amazed with everything else going on. Uh, but it, it sure was kind of heartwarming. I definitely felt a, a big, you know, my, my heart beat a little harder. Uh, it was it was very heartwarming to see that moment. It was I think it was really well done, too. I think it was very... Very emotional. It's very good. Very, very good. You think Mara will be making the jump to, to canon? Oof, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. I think we'll see some action in the next episodes with Ezra. Like how they're going to get out of there. Yeah, this is lining up to be a fantastic next two episodes. I think it's very much just going to be this action-packed, intense, let's get the hell out of here episodes. I can, I can definitely see that. That was you, CJ? Yeah, 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 that was you. That was you. Solid episode, says Texas. Lots of backstory. Yeah, I think they did very well to kind of... We understand Thrawn's kind of position. We even, like, newcomers understand the witch's position and kind of... Oh, okay, so they're, like, mad. They want to get back home. That's the friend Sabine was talking about. Like, I'm trying to think about it from the perspective of someone who doesn't... Who hasn't seen Clone Wars or Rebels or anything. Or even the books. Read any of the books. But kind of, can they piece together what's going on? I think I feel like they can. So yeah, it's a good backstory. Good backstory. Do you really think uh, Ahsoka Sabine Ezra taking on the Night Troopers is gonna be epic? Yeah, it's gonna be an incredible team up. Um, I really love the combat that we saw, and it's just like a brief scene, but in this episode where uh, Sabine starts like beating up the I don't know what they were called. They weren't mercenaries. They were like bounty hunt, like the nomads, the nomad people. Uh, and she just, like, tears them up. That was really awesome because I'm still iffy about the whole non-force-using Jedi thing with Sabine. I'm still a little bit iffy about that. But I really love her as a man. Like, she's an epic Mandalorian fighter. Like, she was using the, um... Hang on. God, let's get the chair up here. She was using, the like, the cable and, like, the guns really well. And, like, her physical combat has always re been really amazing. So I'm, I'm glad that they went a little bit more in that direction for that for that combat, se combat sequence. I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's the question. That is the question, Yava. That is the question. Hefty throw. It's a good word. You can't beat it. Hey, Kyle. Two dollar reduce. Coming in. 
question. Do you have a lightsaber to knight someone? Uh, I have the noodle saber. I could knight someone with. That'd be hilarious, actually. Or I could have, um, like the literal... Where's, where's, the, where's Kenobi's one? Where's Kenobi's saber? Why are you crazy? I'll use the noodle. I'll use the noodle. <laughs> well, like, knight someone like this. So this is this was from the, the, the um, premiere that we made these <laughs> noodle sabers. So we, like, knight them like this. Oh, that's awesome. That is such a great idea. Rattleshark, you are now a Jedi Knight. What is that? They do shoulder, shoulder. Do they do anything else? What? Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, Get up. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's not going to get up there. Let's leave that there. Woo! Wow. What a start. What a start to the show. All right. What are we? What's happening? Let me get back on track here. I think I've watched this one about 10 times now. I was just rewatching the whole season oh amazing yeah i watched it a bunch of times this one it was just so deep just really loved it it's gonna be a huge cliffhanger right yeah i can feel it coming someone's gonna like almost die or something something sin city coming in with the gifted subs a heart of generosity who would have thought the most unhinged crazy guy would be the most generous. Love your sin. Appreciate the generosity to everyone. Sharing that Star Wars love. It's going to take uh, Gold Boy's helmet. Go what? Uh, funny enough, Loki, I thought that was Ezra when we first saw him. That was hilarious. Uh, John coming in with a big one. A $20 dues. Wow. Thank you so much, John, for your constant support. Oh, my goodness. Hitting me with a theory. Let's Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Balin is trying to get to the War Between Worlds to prevent Order 66. I love it already. Brilliant already. Let's keep going. Uh, is, so he's confronted by Anakin. Uh, Balin, and Sh Sh Balin and Shin face Ahsoka and Sabine and Ezra and fight Thrawn. Wait. Oh, literally. Oh, they face them. They fight Thrawn. Anakin has Luke pulled into the fight with Ahsoka. They win, but Thrawn gets away. Oh my goodness. Like, I, I'm always totally agreeing with, like, I could see this all playing out. The Luke thing, that's that's a spanner in the works, but I kind of like it. A bit spicy, but I'm enjoying it. What a theory here. I imagine if, like, I'm going to give the 20 bucks right back to you if you get it right. My God, that'd be insane. But I feel like it's going to have this gravitas of just insanity to it. So you could be absolutely right here, John. I love it. Great theory. And thank you so much for the big soupy. Claudia Black. Who's Claudia Black? Also, am I behind? How far behind am I in super chat, uh, in chats? Gotta hide from embarrassment. From what? Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Uh, the last episode, uh, maybe could be characterized as filler, but it was good filler. Uh, we're gonna see the Night uh, Sisters' homeworld. Uh, Thrawn and his army of undead troopers and after seeing Ezra. Yes! Actually, I had a fantastic exchange with, uh, Second Sons of Mortis. I don't know if they're in the chat today, but if they come in, let them know I mentioned them. Um, because they said, oh, this was a bit filler. And I was like, I dispute that because I think my determination of filler, also, I'm a big fan of filler, you know what I mean? But whatever, it's, if, if filler is in the negative light, um... You, I, I don't think this episode could really technically be, be classified as filler. Because if we skipped from episode 5 to, to whatever's in episode 7, we're going to be hella confused. We're going to be super confused. You know what I mean? So it's like, we wouldn't, would be literally just like, we'd start what, however episode 7 is in like a totally new place. There's a blue guy there. There's a bunch of stormtroopers around. Like, we wouldn't have connected like how like where everything was so that's my kind of if ever, anyone has the kind of comment of like it's this one's a filler i'm like yeah but if you skip it it doesn't nothing makes sense so it can't be filler anyway this is my two cents on filler 
When do you think Sabine will let Ezra know that she doomed the galaxy? Oh, I think it's going to be like the next conversation. It'll be like now. She'll let she'll let him know now. I think so. Elliot saying an almost perfect episode. New Galaxy, Night Sisters, Thrawn's entrance was fire. Amazing moments with Balin and Shin, Ezra, and more lore revealed. Revealed. What more could we have asked for? Absolutely, I totally agree with you here, Elliot. And Thrawn's entrance, like I knew it was going to be cool. He's a cool character. He's very nuanced. He's very interesting. He's very fascinating. But that entrance was so well done. Like perfect timing, perfect just presence, perfect music. The music pay played such a key role in his entrance for me. Um. Because it was, it was a good amount of time before we actually saw him on the screen. And you could feel something was coming. Uh, especially with that big established... Almost as good as him entering was that establishing shot of the Chimera. Just like... <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Loved that. That was awesome. Uh, and then, you know, the big sweeping shots of, you know, we got like uh, Morgan Elsbeth and like Balin like standing there waiting... And the ship's like coming on the big, the big stand thing, uh, and then we got all the shots of the of the hangar, and all the shots of the stormtroopers, and it was just building so well. So I think he's yeah, they did his entrance like perfectly, eh? Hey, Delane's in the chat. Great to see you here. Love it. Not Mario and Cannon. Oh, oh, shouldn't Ezra uh, be in the roles of Luke? Oh, so, my apologies. I did not, I mustn't have read that comment completely. <laughs> yeah, true. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Okay, that could kind of work. That could kind of work. Are the troopers undead? I'm not sure yet. I believe that they are held together by mar magic. Similar to Marek. I think maybe that was more of the purpose of, uh, of Marek to be like, hey, when they die, they're not a body. They just kind of poof back into magic. I think that's kind of the purpose of seeing Merrick earlier in the season. So then I feel like that's what's going to happen with these troopers. Is like, you know, Sabine and Ezra are going to start like cutting them up. And they're just going to go thump. Like they're just going to go. So uh, I think so. I think so. Because you didn't know. Oh, no. It's such a great emoji, isn't it? It's the official day. Filoni emoji. For, for, for Lomoji. Flamoji. Flum, there you go. Flamoji. Not, not Filoni emoji. Flamoji. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that the whole new galaxy has only uh, three night sisters and some primitives. Is that all there is? I don't think that's all there is, but I think just like their spot on the planet is like maybe that's it. But um, I do have a lot of questions about these night sisters. Why is there only three? Uh, kind of similar to what Texas is saying here. Where's the rest of them? And what were they doing? Just standing there? It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh yeah, this well I think I think that's more of a physical thing. I definitely think they're this they're the magic. The maid of magic. Hey Roman! Great to see you here. Also, I just realized how far behind I must be in the chats. What's what's the time? Oh, jeez. I'm seven minutes behind in the chat. I'm so sorry. My god. That's hilarious. Let me let me skip a little ahead here. We're all saying this. Same thing. The <laughs> Great theory, Julie. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, I did see that. Because I, I watched the episode uh, with... Um, what's the word? What's, uh, captions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, subtitles. There we go. Um, and yeah, night, night Troopers is what, but I think that's just a cool name. I don't think that says too much. It doesn't like reveal anything major. You know what I mean? I'm really enjoying this series, says Oblivion Ninja. Again, one of the best freaking names in this to everyone, anyone who's ever come into the chat. Oblivion Ninja. Like, oh, so good. Great name. Uh, I'm really enjoying the series. Is a blue ninja. Uh, it's got the mysticism and the wonder about uh, that the other shows are missing. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm actually, I'm open to rewatching Andor. Actually, speaking of Andor, I th I'm pretty sure like one, today, one year ago, it it released, it dropped, which is s happy Andor Day to those who celebrate, I guess. Um, but I've actually got something cooking. I've actually got something cooking, and this was actually made by OJD Master OJ. Uh, and I'm doing some cooking on top, and 
there's got to be a bit of a special coming up. I don't, I, ca I can't tell you any more information about it, but there's a bit of an Andor s special that will be coming to the channel very soon. It's gonna, it's gonna drop probably after Ahsoka. But uh, happy Andor day. Um, but back to the comment though. Yeah, and I love Andor. It's a, it, well, I don't love Andor. That's a sweeping statement. Andor's really great in terms of its production and like writing. It, I, I love that. Like that's fantastic production of a show it's I, I agree with you i just think it didn't have that star wars -y mysticism wonder anything can happen hope is the only thing that keeps us alive well it's kind of got that but i'm getting ahead of myself here <laughs> i don't blame her for dooming the galaxy oh so really i kind of do like hey i mean i love her but she kind of did uh, the Grandmothers are based on the fates from the classical history in ancient Greek. The fates are known as uh, the Moirai. Uh, we've got Dave, where Dave got three sisters. Owl's names. Oh, like Morai. Oh, I didn't. Was Morai spelled like that, or is it got like only one eye? Morai. Oh, there you go. He loves the he loves the history, doesn't he? So so cool. Oh, Julie's all over it. I love it. David becoming a part of the Ray Squad. Thank you so much for joining up, friend. I hope you have a great time over there. We're going to be... I'm still trying to ramp up the exclusive content that we'll be enjoying. So I hope you have a good time. It should be very enjoyable. Let's get back up again. Oh, no way! This is why it's terrible when I'm so far behind in the chat. Kyle's a master. Where's the notification? Oh shit, I did miss it. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. We got a new master in town. Oh, give it up. I feel like you're you're beyond knighting, but I can I can still give you a knighting. I can still knight you as Doth, one of the Ray Squad masters. Uh, actually, speaking of masters, again, like, everything's ramping up, uh, there'll be a few little changes, you've come out at a great time, uh, we're gonna have a great time, uh, becoming a new master, we'll, we'll, you go through the initiation, which has just been created, so we're gonna put you, um, in the master chat, and we're gonna enjoy it, and we're gonna have a great time as the High Council, it's gonna be phenomenal, I'll, uh, I'll connect with you after, if you're in the Discord, I'll connect you, with you in the Discord all about that! Oh my god, give it up for the new master. I love it. It's going to be a great time. I'm so sorry for missing it too. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the Inquisitor is a foreshadowing of the same magic used on the Stormtroopers. Uh, yes, I agree with you, Danny. I, I don't know when I said that. You might have missed that. But I literally said this. I was like, I reckon Marek was just to kind of like example like what happens like the magic thing of like oh you die and poof i am out of breath today what a we haven't even gotten to the whiteboard session yet and so much has happened cg we've got a new master we've got a new knight we've got a, a bunch of new padawans and cg cg dropping a big 50 dollary dues oh my goodness thank you so much cg that is so generous of you i appreciate that that is going into the blue paint fund. You bet. You bet. What have you got for me? Luke arrives. Shocking and freaking the enemy out. Called the son of Vader. Oh. By the enemy. And fights alongside Ahsoka. Balin turns to the light. But it is killed by Morgan. Who is killed by Shin. Ooh. Wow. You think Morgan's going to kill Shin? Uh, Thrawn's ship heavily damaged. But limps away. Thrawn hurt. But lives okay okay let's think about this can this work so coming in again with uh, again with the theory that uh luke is gonna be in the show i really don't like i feel like th there's enough of the characters that we don't need extra even though i mean i love luke skywalker just as much as the other bloke um but I don't know, I don't know if he fits, but I can kind of, I can see this, there's going to be some sort of crisscross of like, there, someone's going to team up randomly, and someone's going to come in, and then someone's going to kill the other person, and then Thrawn will get away. I do agree with that. I think Thrawn's going to limp away. 
Uh, but it's gonna it's gonna be very interesting. But thank you so much for the massive fifty. Appreciate that big dono. My good God, God, thank you so much. The past three episodes have been so good. <laughs> I love with the two dollar it is probably wrong, but sounds like a good finale. <laughs> just oh, just a little oh, little. <laughs> Just a, I, I love it. It's like a fail safe you've done there. I love it. I appreciate it for the two dollar dudes. Delane coming in with a five dollar reduced sticker. Oh my god! Thank you so much for your generosity. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Okay, my prediction, says Sin City, is that the power Balin feels is Uncle Harlow. That's how it'll connect to Andor. That's how Cyril got that job. Is Uncle Harlow is actually Darth Plagueis. That's what... And Darth Plagueis is calling Bla Balin. That's what's happening here. Got it. We got it, Sin City. Hugo de Mask. The Mighty Glorians coming in with a $5 reduce. Thank you so much, champion. My girlfriend and I love your Star Wars content and your enthusiasm. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you and your girl enjoy the show, enjoying the content as you, well, you just stated that. So I hope you continue to enjoy. Thank you so much for your show of support. Appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying Ahsoka. Living it up. Loving the show. Well, we have it. Don't get upset yet. It's not over yet. We've got like a week and a half. I skipped. Oh, gee, I'm skipping everything today. I'm, sk I'm having to skip like 50 things. I'm like two years behind the chat. I'm trying to catch up here. Yeah, the badges are coming. The badges are coming. Ben's here. Oh, that's okay. We are. This has been a crazy day. We haven't even gotten to the whiteboard part yet. So, so much has happened. Oh, we got Steezo's here. Hey, Steezo. Are the new Stormtroopers being called Night Troopers? Correct, Amondo. It was in the subtitles. Appreciate it. So busy training students. How many does he have again? Uh, how many do you. I don't remember. 10? Something? 12? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, so a couple people against the whole Luke showing up. Maybe that'd be a good poll. Let me actually, let's do it now. We love a good poll. Where's OJ? Someone go ping OJ. He always forgets these streams happen. Tro if Troha's here or Sin City, maybe go go ping go ping um OJ. Okay. Let me let me do a poll. Hang on. Will Luke? I like how I'd, I've done his last name. Well. This is going to be an interesting poll. I feel like the nose might have it. But we'll see how many say yes. It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> Threon. You betcha. You betcha. Uh, I think there's a better chance of Leia since they name dropped her. Maybe we cut to a scene of her defending heroes to the rebels. I would love that. That would be such a great just... It, it would just be epic like you know I, that'll be to be honest like i was very emotional incredibly shocked and overwhelmed when luke showed up in mando season three if we see leia in this show like that'll be my luke moment i think i think i don't know i don't know mark in the chat get a there your revolution that's your revolution the bandu literally anytime anyone ever in ever the space of time and uh, space. Any time, any time someone says Bendu, I just I immediately feel the urge to just go the Bendu. No, I am the light of the dark. <laughs> I am the Bendu. Just so great. I think I don't know if I this was commented somewhere or if I even said this past stream. I we're becoming one chat. Like I don't know what's my thoughts and what's your thoughts. Like I think some theories I thought of, but it's actually your theory. So I apologize if I like take credit for what someone said here um the bendu what if it's the bendu that's calling to balan bendu is very much like hey i'm not i don't have a side i'm just in the middle balan is very much like i just want things to stop i want things to not be good bad good bad balan's very bendu like let's if that's yeah you know what i mean 
Uh, I posted this on Twitter, but I think Thrawn is uh, going to get his hands on creatures from the High Republic that Proud Force uses, either at the end of Ahsoka or by uh, the end of the Empire movie. Oh, that'd be that'd be sick. What book is that? I haven't read much of High Republic, but I really love it. What book is that? I want to I want to read that. It's so cool. Ryan is loving the show so far. Uh, Sin City coming in with the five dollary dues. Diddly doos. Huh? Have you learned by now, seven to eight months, that my answer to every single topic has been Uncle Harlow? I, I haven't learned actually. It's either the answer is either Uncle Harlow or like Hera's pants. I feel like those are the two answers for you, Sin. And I love it. I love it. Wouldn't change it for a thing. Uh, thank you for the five dollar dues. Appreciate it. Okay, Master Wade coming in. Hear me out when I say this, but I think the power he feels is the Emperor because of the lore of the Emperor was reborn right after Thrawn dies. I think I, it'll be an interesting gamble, to be honest, to be like, it's Palpy back there being like, Psst. this is, this is Palpatine, this is Palpatine, hang on, imagine if, imagine if this happens, Psst. hey, hey Palin, He's like throwing rocks. Psst. Balin. Balin over here. And ba Balin's, Balin's like, <laughs> he's so stoic and like simple minded. He's back to Palpatine. Psst. Balin. <laughs> I'm over on Exegol. Can you? Wait, what do we, what, what do you want Balin to be doing though? Stop. Psst. Can you stop drawing? I've got a thing going here. <laughs> that's what's happened. That's that's Palpatine coming back. I don't know why Palpatine would sound like that, but uh, it would actually sound more like um. How would, how, how would a Palpatine whisper actually? Oh, I digress. I digress. That's for a show for another day. <laughs> uh, Jackson coming in. Wow, it's it sounds like I feel naked without the music on. There we go. Let's get it back on there. <laughs> Jackson, I could see Luke showing up in season two, maybe, uh, but he'll definitely be in Dave's movie. Yeah, I agree with Jackson. Yeah, I, I can't feel it. Like, it doesn't feel right if he shows up in season one. That's hilarious. I see stuff and think, yeah, that's probably going to like this. I just like it when I see this random stuff. Pretty much. Pretty much. People want Balin actor uh, recast for a new season, but you can't replace the greatness. You just can't. Absolutely. Um... Hmm. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I know this is a crazy show, but if you want something really interesting, bear with, bear with me for one second. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're back, baby. We're back, baby. So, okay. Let's get the music down a little bit here. I, I promise after this we'll we'll um we'll get into the uh, our favorite part of the whiteboard session. So, this was actually 
uh, <laughs> yesterday, I was on a face. Uh, I was on a FaceTime with my mum, and Ray mum. She understands Star Wars, uh, but she's both her and my dad uh, have been watching Ahsoka just so they can understand what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, and I clipped uh, a, a small portion of her speaking about uh, Balin, which I I just have to share with everyone because it's one of the greatest conversations I've probably shared with anyone. Um, so let, it's just a voice recording. So let's take a listen of what my Ray mum. Uh, they like puts together about the show of Ahsoka. It's really, it's really interesting. Let me get it up here. Here we go. <laughs> this is so good. Baden, Baden, Baden. You say Baden? Baden, Balen. 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 I really like Balen. Yeah. You like why do you like him? I'm surprised you like him, to be honest, out of all the characters. Well, I can't still can't work out whether he's a goodie or baddie. That's a good point. Maybe that's what makes him good though. I think that's what makes him interesting. Yes. It's he's hard well, to read. He's, he's he's with the baddies. He's got this little good streak in him. Yeah. It's kinda of nice. Maybe that's the it? Jedi of him coming out. Oh it's coming out. He can't he can't deny it. He can't deny it. It's part of him. Yes. Yeah, I think he's a very striking man. Striking? Oh, like, like attractive, like good yes, looking. He's a yes, good looking he's guy. He's a good looking guy. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I really like his well trimmed beard. Well trimmed beard. Um, it's a good beard, and I like actually. I do like his hair. He's he's very yeah. combed and like together hair. Yeah, I'd like to know if that's his real hair and that's his real beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be. Well, did you? Yes, but also did. Did you not? He, he, the actor actually passed away. Anyway, the conversation then continues when I unfortunately have to break the news to her that Ray did sadly, very sadly, pass away. She was horrified by that. Really, the conversation just went downhill. She was so sad. She was so sad. But uh, that was a a little insight into an interesting conversation. I found it very interesting. Her perspective of really, not, she hasn't seen Clone Wars, Rebels, anything. She she knows uh, like a lot of the concepts of the movies, um, but her take on Balin's character, uh, you know, if you didn't, I hope hopefully it kind of came across clearly in the in the like in the sound there. Uh, but talking about there's something a strike of good in him, I was like that is so interesting. Um, but I thought that was very fascinating. I hope you enjoyed that. How do, how do there we go? Themes back on. Themes back on. She sounds even more Aussie <laughs> than me. Really? She yeah. really? I thought I thought we sound the same. So good. But yeah, Julie, you called it. <laughs> I think he's quite striking. Oh, that's very funny. That was very, very funny. Uh, but what do you think? Everyone's got the hots for Balin. Who would have thought? I know, right? I was like, I really I haven't really thought about it. But then I looked at a picture of him after. I'm like, oh yeah, he's quite a handsome guy. Actually, yeah, like, look at that photo. Like, he's pretty. He's a handsome guy. Very stoic. Very, very stoic. Uh, but you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Back to the conversation. My god. I heard Balin and Shin were gonna be uh, integral to the plot moving forward. I'm curious how they're gonna handle Balin's character. Uh, will they recast, kill him off, simply forget about him? I don't think it's gonna be the last one. I suspect there will be, if there is a season two or even in the movie... Uh, there'll be some sort of nod that Balin has gone into the Never region or something like that. Uh, and perhaps we might continue this character in animation? I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps. Or did I skip Jackery's super chat? Super chat! Oh my god, he looks like Moses. Yeah, are you like re referencing the... Um, what's that called? What's that called? The... That movie, that animated movie, he does. He totally does look like Moses. 100% Jackery. Thank you for the two dollary doos. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It was a great moment. Give it up for Ray Mum. Having the hot takes coming in. Coming in. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? It's so good. Prince of Egypt. That's, that's the call. That's what it's called. We gotta love Ray Mum. Gotta love Ray Mum. 
Barely breeding me. Yeah, that was funny. But man, he had that Ezra smirk down pat. 100%. He really he really embodied uh, Ezra really spot on. I really think it... Um, best casting. Like, can't beat that. That's one of the best castings I've ever seen. It's so good. It's so, so good. Uh, but let's get, let's get the, uh, oh my god, BG Diaz is in here live. Loving the recaps of Ahsoka, loving every episode. That's great to hear. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> ben coming in. Uh, here's my interesting story about this show. My grandma. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I love these, like, family members that don't know much about Star Wars takes on Star Wars. It's one of the best things ever. Uh, here's my story about the show. My grandma, who's very hard German accent, calls her Ahsoka Hooks. What? Ahsoka Hooks? What? She, she just adds a whole word at the end. I corrected her and said, yeah. Uh, and she said, yeah, that's what I said. Ahsoka Hooker. What? <laughs> She's just adding a whole word to it? That's amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's because of green, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is so true, actually. That is spot on. Evolution is complete. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Well, let's get the whiteboard out. Let's get it out. Whiteboard analysis session. We are now in class. Let's get the whiteboard music up. Now in session! You dropped a five bummer? Have I missed everyone? Am I missing everyone? Where did you where did you send that? I didn't see anything. Oh, five new five new uh members? I never I never for some reason I don't get notified about the members, so unless you guys tell me. Was it the member thing? Ray White Boy, gotta love it. Got to love it. What tattoos are you man drawing today? That's a great question. Is it, is it whale story? No, it's gone. Is it? Oh my god, it's still there, kind of. Oh my god. Like, that, that's, these are the eyes. Oh my god. That's hilarious. How many days has that been? It's been so long. Jeez. Uh, thoughts on Ezra reintroduced. Um, uh, Ezra Speed's reunion. I found it underwhelming. Considering he's been gone for ten years, I feel like they should have been more emotional for both of them. I, f I felt like there was a good depth to it. I feel like there was a good like, um, like the moment, like she took that moment, just being like, wow. Like I, f I feel like they did it well. Um, what do you think they could have added to it? Apple music, classic, isn't it? Feel reaction can being usurped by the whiteboard, and I'm not happy about it. Justice for reaction cam. <laughs> oh well, maybe one day they could join forces. You never know. It's been, it's been, it's like Thrawn. The reaction cam has been sent to another galaxy. It'll come, it'll come back eventually. Maybe we're gonna, we're gonna make a ring and find it. We'll go there. Is this still too loud? You always say the music's loud since hitting. I'll turn it down like a touch. Alright, turn it down a little bit for you. There you go, there you go. Yeah, he, he did kind of sister zone her, didn't he? Uh, Alright, let's get into it. Let's. Yeah, again, this is going to be a bit of a conceptual one, so come along with me here. Uh, it's got my message in a Oh my god, there he is! There he is! Oh, love to see him! Love it. Oh, so you, you missed... Uh, I played a recording of Ray Mum before. Um, me, and, me and Ray Mum had a conversation about Balin, OJD. You gotta, you gotta scroll back. It's gold. Gold. Um, okay.
who is against who? I feel like that is a broad enough question to be like, what's going on? Who's good? Who's bad? What's happening? This is chicken um, was kind of underwhelmed uh, by Thrawn. Okay, she was like, what's this guy's deal? Yeah, that's fair enough. Like, assuming she hasn't seen like him before, or like, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> if Chili's here, Chili's probably watching this. Uh, Chili, Chili's favorite thing is the fact that Chicken Texas, you call your wife Mrs. Chicken. She literally, like, out of context, we were just like, it was like the weekend. And she was just like, Chili was just like, this, I, it is the greatest thing ever that Mrs. Chicken exists. And I'm like, yeah, it is great. Side note for you. Um, all right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It was well done talking about the Sabine and Ezra uh, connection. Just don't show up uh, after all this time. Oh, yeah. Deep hug. It's good. It's good uh, loved it. I felt like happiness for those. I felt happiness for those characters. Yeah, me too. Me too. The Bandu. The Bandu's here. At least Thrawn seemed menacing. Yeah, I, I think that came across. Uh, it would be better when he pops back and obliterates the New Republic fleet with Cetos. Yeah, I think it'll be... I think that's when people will realize his, like, impact of, like, there's going to be a great sequence where he's just, like, outsmarts just everything that happens. He's like, do this, 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 and that, and we're going to move here, and then that's all going to happen. And then that'll all happen. That'll pretty much be the finale. Pretty much. They do. They really do hate him. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, we've got... There's like so many groups, so let's just write them out. Yeah. Thrawn, and with him is like, uh, what's his name? Enoch? Is that his name? And then, what are they called? Death, they're not death troopers, are they? Night troopers, sorry. Yeah. That's one side, right? Oh, Diaz coming a new member, joining the Star Wars love. Thank you so much for joining up. Appreciate it. I'm so glad you're here. I can never see what year it is, but I appreciate you, appreciate you joining up. How can I see it? Can I see it? We come on a Padawan. I love it. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. The Bundu. Uh, Thrawn is against everyone. Balin is against the whole Jedi versus the Empire. Shin is against the witches and hate and love love hate relationship with Sabine. Shabine, is that you? Um, Sam, what was the character appeared yet? Uh, I think he did the voice or something for Marek. That was my idea. Um, so then in the blue we'll have. Let's do. Soka, Sabine, and Ezra. So let's kind of do this kind of thing. Um, Thrawn, on Ahsoka, Sabine, Ezra. Then we have. I'm gonna put Balin here, and then Shin. I'm going to redo this. Alright, this is what we got going. Whew. This is what we got going. Yeah, yeah, nice. So almost forgot them. Almost forgot them, didn't I? Okay, what do we think? Who's killing who? What the hell is happening? What's happening? 
Thrawn doesn't trust Balin, says Mark. And he knows it could come a threat just manip uh, become a threat just manipulated him into going after Sabine and Ezra. They all kill each other. Uh, is is proper for him. Very Thrawn thing to do. So yeah, so Thrawn I mean by the end of this episode, Thrawn doesn't like Balin. Picked up uh, on Shin wanting to kill Sabine vibe, not an interest vibe. Yeah, fair enough. That's probably that's probably more it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Ahsoka versus Elizabeth rematch. We're thinking uh, against the greater threat of the Grisk. Yeah, that, that, I don't know if that'll come into the show, but perhaps. Morgan is deaf with Thrawn. Yep, Jason. I agree with that. Shin wants to kill Sabine, we're thinking. Shin killing sisters, or at least one. Ooh, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of crazy, Kyle. That'd be nuts. A circle will be uh, the test greatly tested greatly, and that's when Anakin's was spoken to try to come back to encourage you. 100 percent I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. Absolutely. Rado Shark predicting Thrawn leaves Sabine, Ezra, and Balin and Shin and stranded. Balin and Shin turn to Thrawn. Turn on Thrawn forces. Uh, forced with Sabine, Ezra, and Ahsoka. Okay. So, in that theory, so these three, I don't know if Shin would join this group though. I can see Balin maybe turning. Maybe turning. I can see him maybe turning to to join them. Oh, I need a charger. Hang on. All right, let's go. All right, we're back in business. Amazing. Should we turn the light side after Thrawn has Balin killed? Okay, so let's. We also know. Thrawn's not happy with Balin, right? Not enough colors in the whiteboard, so I disagree. These are the only colors I have, to be fair. Shinjo and Sabine and Ezra in the end. I to, like, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know if Sabine's like vibing with him. Okay, so we're thinking, would he take these two? So there's a possibility that they all leave. That could happen. That could happen. Uh, she could turn into a Sarge Ventress type character. Bad slash good guy. Yeah. That could happen. That could happen. happen. Dave, I'm hoping Ezra can sway Shin. Would love to see Shin Sabine joining forces. Okay. All right. Let's get this down then. Possible team up with uh, Shin and Sabine. What's your whiteboard theory? Uh, are the things from the catacombs that getting uh, that getting carried out the dead stormtroopers? Uh, could they get reanimated by the witches? Maybe they re uh, reincarnate more next episode. Yes, those weird coffin things—they were weird as, weren't they? I think there's going to be some weird sister magic going on here for the final battle. I think it'll be a bit like. The Battle of the Five Armies and the Hobbit, where it's like there's kind of a bit of a mix of everything. There isn't like a black and white, good side, dark side. I think Balin is gonna like kind of turn good and wanna maybe side with Ahsoka. The witches will like maybe Thrawn does something, and maybe the witches could like they could turn on Thrawn. And so it would be like they have we have the Thrawn and the Night Troopers. We have the witches and like undead troopers. Oh, now I don't know. No, that would be contradicting a little bit. I don't know. Mm, this is so complex, isn't it? I 
All right, Jay. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for dropping by anyway. I think the grandmothers will call Sabine. Oh, okay. But they don't really... Oh, no, they're still here. They could, they could kill? Hmm. That's interesting. They did... Yeah, because they had that line of, like, it reeks of Jedi. I don't know, uh, shouldn't be surprised when Thrawn wanted her and Balin to follow Sabine and kill her and, uh, her and Ezra just gave me the vibe of her turning. I don't know, it might just be me. That's interesting. I didn't know it. I might go, I might go rewatch that. That's cool. You don't like her wig? No way. Uh, witches don't care about Thrawn and he doesn't them. They have a tr transactional relationship, not one built on mutual agreement. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I feel like that could break easily. Like, Thrawn could be just like, I'm going to piss off. And which is like, what? And then it just kind of, they, they just kind of break down that relationship there. So maybe something happens there. I don't know. I don't know. But I doubt Shin is uh, such a good bad guy turns as she's obviously looking for power. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if, if she would turn. If anything, it's going to be Balin. Like, are we not saying Balin might turn? You heard Raymum say it. Like, he's got a streak of good in him. Like, could he not be teaming up with these two? And then obviously maybe maybe when he meets Ezra, um, you know, we have that term Boken Jedi, which is, I think it was being created for the show. I couldn't find any information on this term that Balin uses to describe Ezra. Um, he calls him a Boken Jedi. Which is trained, a Jedi that's trained outside of the Order. Yeah, that could, oh, that's actually a really good idea. Repopulate Dathomir back in the other galaxy. It's a good point, he only cares about the Chiss. That's why I'm like, I feel like this whole drama will be too much for Thrawn. He's going to be like, look, I'm going to go back and like keep doing my thing. You all stay here. I, I can see that be, hap uh, be happening. Bela might be trying to start his version of the Jedi Order by recruiting Ezra. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some sort of interaction there. Maybe Ezra tries to, like, change his mind or vice versa. It's going to be interesting. What about theory? Balin tries to raise uh, Abeloth. Oh, the Abeloth theories. Come on. Really? Hey, Tim. How you doing? Yeah, yeah here. We, we, it's been a crazy show so far. I'm glad you're here for it. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's it. That's a good insight. Yeah, it's yeah, and that's. I think that's all he said. It's just a, a, Jedi, a Jedi that's trained outside of the order. what I said. I just rewatched the uh, the scene. Shin questioned Balin uh, on keeping his word when Thrawn told him to follow Sabine. It kind of gives it a side eye to Thrawn. Def, back, go back and take a look. Oh, that's cool. I will. That's really, really interesting. Super interesting. It's a homeschool Jedi. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. That is amazing. It's a homeschool. Oh, right. Well, I mean, like, look at the board. This is, like, one of the, like, 50 theories that, like, barely coincide. So, that's why we have them. Uh, but I, I'm super glad. I, I have the best time doing these. It's so fun. Hey, Johnny Jen. Great to see you popping in the show. Well, we know that Luke at some point going to have to get, uh, going to have to kick Abeloth's ass. Uh, this would be a good opportunity uh, to make that happen. Is that off? Is that, is he even can? Stay right there, I just gotta heat up my coffee, hang on.
Okay. What do we got? Any more thoughts? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I think the heroes will suffer a loss at the end. Actually, let's talk about that. That's a great point, Kirsty. Um, I think Sabine is the one who will carry the most weight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, someone's got to die. Someone's got to die, right? Trying to do like a skull. I think I can only draw Thrawn. I'm so bad at drawing skulls. Alright. I should say that. Dies? The Bendu. First, I was there at work. Tommy wants the power of Balan senses to be Darth Revan, only because he's a KOTOR guy. Yeah, there's a lot of KOTOR guys in the chat, actually. A lot of, a lot of you guys uh, love KOTOR. Oh, just cheese the microphone. Uh, Sabine took the easy route to get her friend. It makes me think there's going to be ramifications for that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't do it well, did I? I didn't do it well. Oh yeah, how's that poll coming along? 84% of you are saying a big fat no to Luke showing up at Ahsoka. Fair enough, and I'm probably with that 84%. Great poll. Well done. Good stuff. Good stuff. I feel like I'm in an elevator with a bunch of Jedi Masters. Oh, I love that. It's a very, it is very elevated music, isn't it? Sabine will get left behind. I literally knew what you meant. That's okay. I told you, you were like, I hope Ahsoka shows up. I'm like, I think they mean Luke. But I get you. I get you. Sabine will die uh, and her grand sacrifice for Ezra will mean nothing anymore. I think so, but like... Okay, what What if... It'd be kind of rough though. What if... Like if Sabine dies though and like Ezra and Ahsoka get to escape... It would change a lot of things. It would, be, it would feel weird. Um, but then back, maybe back in the new galaxy. Hmm. Like if Thrawn escapes to the new galaxy. Well, the, oh, the usual galaxy. I don't know what to call it. Uh, back to the old one. Uh, I feel like Ahsoka and Ezra are going to be the ones to get through. Maybe Sabine is left there and dies. To like for them to get through or something? I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, Jason, yeah. I'm seeing a couple of people say that. I think so. I just think the tragedy of Sabine fighting Ezra only to die would hit hard. Yeah, I think so. And they love that. And Dave's very, I mean, if we know anything, um he's very good at killing the characters that we really love. <laughs> you know, like Satine. Uh, Maul. Um, who else? I mean, someone else dies in Clone Wars 99. Like, all these character deaths are characters we really love, and they're, they're really important and, and really heavy deaths. And they he does them very well to, to make them mean a lot. So, I think someone's going to die, but I think it's going to be very meaningful. Hey, Edward. Great to see you here. Oh, is that right? Is that right? What are we got? What are we sitting on with the with the post? What are we sitting on? Oh, two hundred fifteen likes. Two hundred fifteen likes currently. We're sitting on. 
she's sad Ahsoka as well is probably going to die based on the Balin saying that the uh, whales go to Pyrrhide to die. Uh, right? That's kind of sad. It was really dark seeing like all the all the whale carcasses. It's kind of crazy. But that's really sad for your cousin. No. Uh, my guy is telling me all three will survive and maybe not death into the movie, perhaps? Maybe Balin. Maybe. Okay. You know what's probably a bit on brand? Balin turns. He likes literally last minute turns. He sacrifices himself for all these three to escape, and he dies. I don't think anyone important will die in this show. Wow, Texas calling it. Interesting. Kanan. Oh my god. Yeah. Lol. How did I forget that? Kanan's death was insane. Tenshi agreeing, saying no heroes might uh, will die. Agreeing with Texas there with that thought. Hmm. Interesting. I think uh, Balin wants to uh, accomplish. He needs to be stopped. He needs to perish. Yeah, I, I think he will. I do think he will. Now that I have thought that. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't I don't think. I, I, like, I feel like she's going to be in the movie and there might be a season two. So I, I can't see Ahsoka dying this season. Could the Mortis gods be the ones that the Jedi sisters are trying to get away from? And that who Balin seeks, uh, maybe he connects with the sun. That would be a great theory. I think that's a that would be a great connection there. That'd be awesome. Mm. Morgan having a good chance of dying, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like that seems very like that's gonna happen. In, like that's Star Wars to me. That's very Star Wars. And reborn. Is it possible that Anakin's uh, force essence reached out to Luke so maybe Luke will come and surprise help everyone? I don't know. We just did a poll and 85% of the chat don't want Luke Skywalker showing up. So it'll be interesting if he does. It'll, I wonder if even if he does, if we'll all love it. Um, that'd be interesting. I think Balin lives in the show, which sucks because of Ray Stevenson's real life death. He's doing such a great job as Balin. Yeah, it's, it's such an incredible character. It's so well portrayed. So, so interesting. It's so good. Yeah, I think Ahsoka's safe. I think we got, I think she won't be dying. Yeah, these theories are really deep. You guys are killing it with the thoughts so far. I'm loving this. Oh, could we be acquired on Peridia? Maybe that's the one we see. Interesting theory there. Hey, Darth Huang. Great to see you popping in. I would only want to see Luke and Anakin in the War Between Worlds and they, the look they give each other to make me cry. Heavy tears. Yeah, that'll be a pretty insane moment. To see... Uh, oh, we have some lag? Are we, are we lagging chat or is that just me? That might just be me. I don't know if it's for everyone. Um, that'd be a pretty insane moment to like have a like yeah CG'd Luke, CG'd Luke. Like I'm, I mean, regardless of like the weirdness of Luke being in Book of Boba Fett, uh, he looked incredible. I thought it was really well done in Book of Boba Fett. Like seeing that Luke and Hayden Christensen in like Revenge of the Sith style was just be insane. It would be insane. Let's try the Jedi train uh, post Anakin to become a Jedi with the last standoff of the new galaxy. Her test, Anakin wo Anakin's words. Hmm. That's a good point. Because because he, I mean, he the last episode, his final thing to her was like, oh, you haven't, there's hope for you yet. So the, it, that is obviously saying like, there's something else has to happen in the future, for sure. For sure. And we're back. I love it. 
What if Balin, Balin is searching for the wills? Uh, Super D Cup and George's original drafts of the sequels had Luke searching for them. Maybe Dave picked that up with Balin. You know, the wills coming into it would be really interesting. That, like, someone mentioned this. It might have been you even, Ben. Um, in the countdown, we put it on the board, and I was like, you know what? After, like, after the fact, I was like, that would actually be very interesting. That was a really interesting arc um, they did in Clone Wars with Yoda. Uh, I think I think that would be a really interesting concept if they introduced this live action. Yeah, I can see that happening, Tim. 100%. 100%. I have to sleep for chat. I like a new promo for you, Sabine dying. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. You can do this, Ahsoka. Yeah, he does say... Is that So that's what he says in the clip that we haven't seen yet? Is that what he says? You can do this, Ahsoka. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be some very hard battle or something. And in the last moment, she has to, like, kill someone or do something. And, and he comes in and says that. I think so. I think so. Every time I finish a new episode of the show, I just say... I love Star Wars. Me too. Me too. Oh, 100%. I want I want an animated series where it's like pretty much clone. You, you know what? Here we go. Here we go. Here's the. Uh, Hu Huang says once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, and it's David Tennant like narrating tales of the Jedi esque stories, but from all different periods. There'll be periods of like Anakin training as a youngling with Obi Wan. Um, freaking post Return of the Jedi stuff, maybe in the middle of the OT like just scenes and, and from characters that we love from all over the timeline um, and like Huang narrates it all I would love to, to hear that when Anakin in the set, when Anakin said in the trailer uh, in this war you'll face more than just droids what if he's referring to the upcoming war with Thrawn uh, he, he's going to prepare Ahsoka to fight him, that's true and a lot of the like the storyline that we explored was um with that that video I made of like what was the lesson was this notion of he's like I'm I have to prepare you like you have to harden up mentally and do all these different things because you've got to be ready got to be ready the wills are canon they write the opening crawls for the Star Wars films maybe Huang knows them uh, source from a certain point of view books there you go they are canon they were in they were in Clone Wars though weren't they aren't they the wills as well Oh my goodness, 4 a.m. We'll catch you later, Master Julie. Appreciate you. Uh, we'll be in contact. We need we need a big master's call very soon. It's going to be great. Appreciate you, Julie. Oh my god, Sedge is here last minute. Oh, look at Ezra. Look at Ezra looking so handsome there. Love the new profile picture. I love some High Republic content there too. Uh, an anthology series. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Even. Even. Ben is looking. Balin is looking for the Mortis gods. Bendu or the Wills. They lean towards the Bendu. The Bendu. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love that idea. And it's so funny because I was kind of like jokingly mentioning the Bendu a bunch, and then suddenly it's like there might be a genuine possibility of like theories, like the Bendu could be a thing. Super funny. Super super funny. I know. I love it. How good is that? How good is that? It's real split the June C, right? After that scene is that Huang said the thing. It means the title cross all part of the, his memory data base. The Bendu. Uh, by the way, Obi, Obi uh, equals space Jesus. Ezra equals space Moses. Exactly. 100%. 100%. Sad you're on the Abeloth train? Really? Really? What was that? What was that theory? Another question: What do you think about the Bendu and his final warning to Thrawn? We looked at that briefly, randomly. Was that last stream? The stream before? Um, what did he say to Thrawn? You can't see, or something. I can see, but you cannot, or something. What did he, yeah, what did he say there? I should maybe I should make a video about the Bendu. The Bendu. It, it was funny enough. It was actually Julie who brought that up. I love that Julie brought that up, Ben, because, um, yeah, it's a really interesting thing. He, like, 
was like said something like that to Thrawn like you can see that like you can't see but I can or something yeah you know it a rock is the best character that's the favorite type of character it was very gladiator it was really cool Thank you, Delane. Appreciate you. Balin is sensing the Bendu for sure. For sure. Because Abeloth used uh, Lua Force users. Used the Lua Force users. Maybe that's why Balin is drawing something. Oh, okay. You got me there. That's that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that actually. It was something like you can't see uh, see arms and brace or something like cold and brace or something. Yeah. Maybe we should maybe in the countdown for next episode we'll have a relook at that scene again because I'm like something said there I can't remember what it was. And he said that to Ahsoka that she would die because he could see her future. Hmm. Where did the Ben do an Ahsoka talk? I don't remember. Uh, Tech, I'm not watching Ahsoka after what just happened. Ezra found by the most soft person in history. I don't know what. Is that a? Are you complaining here? I can't tell if you're ex excited, but or not. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. The beings from the Yoda arc are manifestations of the Force, not the worlds. No way! Oh my God! They're called the priestesses. Holy shit! The, the, the priestesses. I'm so confused right now. I thought the priestess. We talked about this the other day, and then I thought everyone was. I thought the priestess was the freaking grandma, like Zeb's grandma. Those aren't the wills? I don't know. What the hell am I watching? I don't know. I love how Zabine has zero respect for Thrawn and smart mouths him every opportunity. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That dynamic was really awesome. I think they played that well. That would have been actually really... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've, I've been posting a lot about Ma... Uh, Mars, my god. Lars... Uh, recently because I just I love the guy I think he's just so amazing for Star Wars it would have been amazing for him to be like he is Thrawn after being the voice like he is Thrawn and he's looking at all these characters that he spoke to and about so he's looking at Sabine he's, he's probably going to be looking at Ezra all these kinds of things Incha insane insane now what if the Night Sisters uh, give Thrawn some magic powers in order to kill Soka? Maybe, but I, I mean, I don't think Ahsoka's going to die. When Thrawn killed the Bendu, he probably got attached to him and followed him to the new galaxy. Ooh. Wait, like, the Bendu, like, lives inside of Thrawn? Crazy. I want an Ezra fig with his new look. Hope they don't change his look ASAP. Uh, and let uh, him rock this for a while. Yeah, it's a great outfit. They've done actually all the all the costuming for the show has been just next level good. It's been so amazing. Enoch looks kind of freaky. Yeah, he does. It looks kind of weird. It looks kind of weird looking, isn't it? It would be a shame if uh, Zeb was in the dark and all these events. Hopefully, he's wanted to join the fight this whole time. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's out. Yeah, he's out doing his own missions or something. But, I, I mean, as we learned, I'm not the most massive... Um, I'm not the most massive Zeb fan. He's just there. I don't know. It's like, everyone's like, where's where's Zeb? But it's like, are you doing... Is he doing that much, though? I don't know. I'm going to get flack for that for not loving Zeb. Sabine smart mouths everyone. That's true. She really does. Thrabendu. That's hilarious. Of Ezra's look, every character looks perfect, in my opinion. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, the chainmail, like super random. Love it though. Chainmail behind, so cool. Die well. I picked that up on the rewatch. I was like, what the hell does that mean? Die well. Well, I, I mean, I, it means what it means, but it, I, I found that a funny line too. I was like, that's that's hilarious. That is that is hilarious. You love Zeb. I, like, he's good. He just doesn't do it. He's like a glass of water. It's like... Like, you have to have it. Is it the best drink in the world? 
<laughs> oh, I took it as that. I took it and ran. I took it and ran, lightning. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, did you post the quote? Where's the quote? Where's the quote? Oh, here we go. I see you, I see you defeat... Like many, I'm surrounding you in a cold embrace. I see your defeat. Like many, I'm surrounding you in a cold embrace. What could that mean? Is this the, is this the Thrawn or Ahsoka, Tenchi? Was that Thrawn or, Th Thrawn or Ahsoka? Gladiator vibe. All right, Java. Sounds good. Die well. It was the best line of the episode. That's Bender to Thrawn? Okay. Let's put it on the whiteboard. We're doing it. We're zooming in a little bit. Where did I... How did I miss this already? Is that it? Alright. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to stand up for this part, actually. It's a, it's a it's a heavy quote, isn't it? Heavy. <laughs> Second sons, love to see ya. Hey, Jim. I'm so glad you're here. Woo. I love our debates. I love our debates. I hope you're doing well. Living the dream. in relation to Thrawn dying with the space whales tangled wrapped around his ship. Oh, that's true. Maybe we're, like, connecting it too far. Thrawn's ship bodily damage, I think, which is uses magic to keep it together so it can make the jump into the hyperspace ring. That's a good point. Or maybe he doesn't care. I took it as less of... Because, like, Thrawn was like, go find him, that's fine. Like, I feel like Thrawn just didn't care that Thrawn was, uh, that Ezra was out there. Oh, so funny. And where the hell is true, huh? Yeah, I, I say that every day. <sighs> the notion that you might possibly view Lux as more meaningful character than Zeb, 100%. Makes me question your entire world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so much more meaningful. So much more. Because Thrawn was like, oh, he could be dead. I don't know. I don't care. Off your pop. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that was his energy. He wasn't like, I don't know. If you can find him, let me know. Like, I, I feel like he wasn't stressed about it. You know what I mean? He wasn't stressed.
That's because people come in and out. In and out. But great to see you here, Joel. Uh, I love the theory of Abeloth. Yeah, that's been popping up a lot. Yeah, you're on Team Abeloth? That'll be an interesting thing. Uh, was I the only one who thought there was gonna they were gonna kill off Ezra in the last episode? I was worried. Uh, kill Ezra off? I mean, not when we just met him. Like there was no danger. Do you mean then? I didn't. I didn't feel that coming. Also, he did not care about letting them go because he was like, "Where are they gonna go?" That's true. Exactly. That's why I'm like, I feel like he's so focused on like building up his army, like getting everything together again. And then waiting for Morgan to come and then he's taken off. He's like, Ezra's just going to die here. He's not going to expend troopers and energy trying to like, let's go kill this one guy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Sin City coming in with a $5 redos. Uh, R2, 3PO, Chopper were all more integral to the stories than Zeb and Wrecker. I could probably argue Wrecker, but probably Zeb. Yeah, I get, I get that with Zeb though. Hot take. That's a hot take. Appreciate you, Sid. Thank you for the five dollar dues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahsoka's the team, pretty much. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like he didn't want to kind of throw his resources out there. So he was also reluctant to send more troops out. So I don't think he's willing to risk what remains of his armies. Uh, Re what remains of his army unless there is a threat yeah 100% 100% <sighs> oh man Rick is for sure a glass of water <laughs> Dr. Pepper I've never had Dr. Pepper that doesn't that doesn't exist in Australia but I take it it's really bad then uh no I'm kidding I'm kidding uh but let's come back in let's come back in as we start to wrap up the show. Oh my god, we're, I'm really zoomed in today. Let me go back to normal size. How do I how do I make it normal size again? Hang on. There we go. There we go. Um let's get that brayside music back in here as we start to go through our final thoughts of the show of this episode six it's been a great night of theories i'm like my brain is full my brain is full of thoughts super super interesting but this episode i think did really well it's been very interesting i think going from last week which is obviously full of a lot of nostalgia uh this flashback very intense ahsoka intense episode to obviously jumping into this episode we don't get ahsoka much at all we get her for like two minutes at the start uh but we get a lot of heavy concepts you know like just trying to work through all this mess it's very interesting i really enjoy this episode um there's not much i could fault about it i i think i would probably rate it a maybe maybe like a like a eight and a half probably Probably? I think so. I think so. <laughs> I'm shook it. <laughs> there is never not playing 8D chess better than uh, everyone in the room. 100%. He would be the best chess player. I could see that happening. We should bring back the post-show shows. We really should, Sin City. That's a great reminder, actually. I should actually bring those back. That, it's such a good time. It's such a good time. I'm finally working through my thoughts and my theories I've, uh, uh, that I've had to hold in. I'm glad that you could do it here, Tenji. Great conversation tonight. It's been so fascinating. We got really deep there. We're all very, like, somber and, like, considering everything. Uh, Joel coming in saying, Do you think the history of the galaxy part 1, 2, and 3 is a meta commentary on the prequels, originals, and sequels, with Ahsoka's favorite being the prequels? 100%. And I love this idea. That is such a hilarious little nugget. Uh, I do think it's this kind of, yeah, meta concept kind of reflecting on uh, the, the three trilogies. I, to I totally subscribe to that idea. 100% Joel. Absolutely love the episode. Talking about it with you all has made me love it that much more. I love it, Ben. Sticking with my final thoughts, Shin will let her power go to her head with Balin saying, you are being trained for more. Yeah, that could happen. That could happen, John. I think so. I think maybe she ain't gonna go down a great path. 
So the next two episodes are going to go crazy. Can't wait to see who's in the coffins. Yes. Are they troopers? Are they night sisters? Brothers even? They're a bunch of night brothers. Insane. Insane. My last thoughts. Thrawn is dope. The night troopers are dope. And the music is fire, says Tim. I love it. Mark, agreeing with me. I'm right with you there with an 8.5 rating for the episode. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait. Actually, next countdown. We didn't do the polls funny enough. Last countdown, but next countdown. I'm very fascinated to see what everyone ranked this episode as. Drop it in the chat if you haven't already. We're all intellectuals. I think so. I think so. Let's get the monocle out. Let's get the top hat out. 100%. Enoch is Eli Vanto. Imagine. That'd be hilarious. What could it be? Also interpreted as OGs. Yeah. I don't think it would be, though. I don't think it would be, though. appreciate that lightning oh man that means a lot thank you so much i appreciate you guys like turning up to all these insane like it's been over a year and it's like it's still just continually gets more chaotic and you guys are still st sitting here through the thick of it with me and i really appreciate that so I, I honestly thank you that means a lot i i really take that to heart and uh uh it really I just am so thankful that you're all here and we can all hang out like this. It's a beautiful time to be a Star Wars fan. Second Stun's coming in with these final thoughts. I like it, but me and my whole family, uh, but I and my whole family agreed last week's ep was so good. It made this one look not as good. The Night Troopers are goated though. It is, it is hard. The disparity is there a little bit. It is there, but they could, it could have done worse. You know what I mean? After last week, they could have done a lot worse. Yeah, this has been a blast. Thank you for being here, Indiota. This has been so nice that you're here. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Sin is saying an 8 for the episode. No worries, Jason. Thank you. Yeah, see? Night Brothers in the Coffins. That, how cool would that be? Zabrax for everyone. I love it. Nine Bendus out of 10. Nine out of 10 for Yabra as well. Nine says Jen and BT Diaz. 9.5 for Rattle Shark. Group hug, Dave. I feel that. I feel that is, like, needed right now. It, it's definitely needed. All right. Yes. Yes. It's, like, 2 a.m., Kirsty. Oh, my God. Go get some sleep. Oh, it's been a blast, Mike. I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, the tin foil hats are out. It's a good time. It's a good time. One day we'll get you into that master's meeting. We'll get you in there one day. I love it. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for a Ray Mum drop. The little drop today. I love it. Yeah, she's a 10 out of 10. She's a 10 out of 10. And a half of lightning as well. 9 out of 10 for Sag. I like this ep slightly less than last week, but it's so close. Love the dialogue throughout the ep. Uh, such great theatric shots. Yes, the coloring in this episode was like, mwah, like so good. Chef kiss. Really good stream tonight, everybody. Can't wait till the next one. Always the best Star Wars community. And guys, the time is ticking. I, I didn't say this, but it's like you kind of have until next episode. What are we at? We're at 218 likes on the Thrawn... Uh, tweet, if you want to see me paint my whole face blue, head to Twitter, give it a like. We need 250 likes. Whoa. We need 250 likes for me to become Grand Admiral Thrayon. I think that's, I think that's good. Oh, so can you make next Wednesday? Oh my god, let's, 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 uh, let's lock it in. Oh my god! If she can, Serena, we're about to end. No! No! Jason's final thoughts. Uh, with everything they set up in this episode, do we think uh, they're not really uh, will not really touch Hera again to save her for another show? Maybe um, Rangers of the New Republic. I would love that. I would love if they pick up that title again and it's about Hera. It's about Hera and Jason, uh, Carson, maybe even Zeb. See, Zeb can even be in that one. Like all those things. Um, I think that would be a really a great combination of characters to make a really great show and I think a lot of people are very interested with and maybe not but I feel like it could be built the interest of the New Republic could be built a little bit more I think that'd be awesome if that turned into the new range of the New Republic it's awesome oh my god Kirsty, go to bed love you thank you for being here is my pin tweet I don't know should I pin it I can pin it if you want it's just this it's one of my recent ones it just says it, it, it just says, like, if you if you like it, I'll do it. Someone make me a Twitter. <laughs> I love it. They're too cheap to include Zeb. Yeah, it's true. He's too expensive to have on the screen. Countdown begins for episode 7. Uh, oh my god. 
before you go, before you go, oh my, let me get it on the screen. Bear with me one second. We have an announcement that I've totally forgot to mention. Jesus. I'm so bad at my own organization. Oh, where is it? I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Coming up this weekend. Mark your calendars. Hang on, the picture's loading. Mark your calendars because we have a very special live show uh, this coming weekend. We are going to be doing a live show, a live stream, a live on the ground, on the show floor of Oz Comic Con Sydney. It's going to be happening this Saturday night uh, for you Americans. Let me put it on the screen. Saturday night at 5 p.m. No, 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 no. And 8 p.m. ET. I mean, there we go. Let's put it on the screen. There we go. Saturday night at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll be going live. That's that's going to be a Sunday morning for me here in Australia. So I'm going to be on the floor. Uh, it's going to be wild. It's going to be loud. It's going to be fun. We're going to see what's around. I'm going to just commentate a little bit of what's happening. So Saturday night, you won't want to miss it. It's going to be super fun. I'm sure it's going to be one of the most peak chaotic things. I've probably ever done here uh, on the channel. Never done something like this before, so we'll see how it goes. There might be a special guest as well. Um, that some people, some some certain Sin City Siths uh, might have been wanting on the show as well. So we'll, we'll see if there's some special guests there as well. Uh, and thank you so much, everyone, to, for sending so many big soupies tonight and our newest master kyle a part of the race squad as well now uh and to our new knight rattle shark and there's a few new padawans which i'm forgetting who joined up as the padawans i really apologize for forgetting that but uh it's gonna be a good time <laughs> it's gonna since city's uh <laughs> since city is here to mask <laughs> oh i love it i love it <laughs> oh no oh no this one's a little earlier though it's a little earlier Kirsty. so hopefully you can make it hopefully you can make it all right, gang, uh, until Saturday night, have a great rest of your week. Uh, enjoy the start of the weekend, and I'll see you. I'll see you very, very soon, sooner than I usually see you. So it's going to be a good time. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much for the amazing conversation tonight. It's been a blast. Make sure you always choose the right side.